Do you need to prepare algorithms and data structures for a data scientist interview? The answer is yes. A data scientist writes code typically. And when you write production ready code, be it in Java or in Python like a data scientist typically does, you need to understand when to use a set versus a list versus a dictionary and so on. You need to understand the advantages and disadvantages of using various data structures from an efficiency point of view. You need to have some notion of complexity because you need to understand that writing multiple nested for loops with a lot of computation inside them is actually going to be taking a lot of time. And it's a very common thing, for instance, in grid search, when you build an ML model, you end up taking a lot of time and you need to understand some notion of what's going to take more time and what's not going to take time as the amount of data increases when you're working with data at scale, especially. So in many interviews which have multiple rounds, which have like six, seven rounds with a long interview loop, it is customary to have a separate round for algorithms and data structures. And sometimes uh, if there are fewer loops in the interview, if there are only like two, three, if, if there are fewer rounds in the loop, like only two, three rounds, then there might not be a separate round for algorithms and data structures. It might be part of another interview round. But some notion of how comfortable you are with how fast your code runs is probably going to be tested. And it's another matter that the bar might not be as high as that in a software developer interview. Uh, again, it depends on who is interviewing you. Uh, so it might not be like the deal breaker, but you need to do, you know, to some minimal level in these rounds of algorithms and data structures to be able to get through as a data scientist. Now, there are roles where you do not need to write production ready code. For example, if you are looking at a data analyst role whose job is mainly to look at data and draw insights, but not necessarily go and write production ready code, might even involve some predictive modeling and machine learning, but might not involve writing production ready code. Then the emphasis on understanding data structures and algorithms might be lower. And in fact, it might not be tested in some cases. But the bottom line is when you're in a role that requires you to write production ready code, it is not unusual to have uh, some form of uh, some notion of testing whether you're comfortable with algorithms and data structures at some level. Thank you.